This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. What's up, XRP family? What's up, Crypto Ghost fam? It's the Bagman, the Moon Commander, back on the mothership, chilling in the moon cabin. How's everyone doing out there? Hope you all are doing well, holding strong, and continuing to stay extra, extra bullish out there. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing the likes for some more Moon O'Clock news. Let's go ahead and dive in headfirst into the Cryptoverse so we can load up on these generational wealth bags. Don't forget to throw on them shades. Gary Gensler looking for those green laser eyes. Let's go ahead. Full speed, full throttle into the Cryptoverse. XRP Crypto Wolf, Ripple and Partner, SBI and CME, which is the largest futures exchange in the world, had meetings with the SEC to discuss regulatory status of XRP, but yet they're still trying to shake you out of their bags. Top 100 banks in Ripple. This list is based on the 2009 S&P Global Market Intelligence Report of the 100 largest banks in the world by total assets. The list links the top 100 banks by assets in Ripple. Currently, 38% of the world's top 100 banks have links to Ripple. Bear in mind that there are NDAs in place and banks might be connected to Ripple via other integrators. And you wonder why the SEC wants those bags back. SEC trashes Ripple's XRP status defense and reiterates privilege. Defendants seek the documents to put on a wholly improper defense that the SEC staff questioned whether XRP and other digital assets were securities and therefore the defendants are liable. While the SEC gives clarity to other cryptocurrencies while they stifle American innovation while getting paid out in the cryptocurrencies that they are favoring. Jungle Inc. XRP, the SEC Gov owes the American public transparency and then he drops the dirty secret. But I think it's also the case that the SEC owes uh, Americans generally and certainly everybody in this space the transparency of saying here's how we're looking at this here's why we think this category is a security and we're going to regulate it as such these are not securities and they have to either be unregulated or regulated somewhere else you know the cash market for commodities are not federally regulated uh, CFTC regulates futures the SEC regulates securities course we have multiple bank regulators but um, you know we, we've got to sort this out and we ought to have transparency before we go in with enforcement this is all a show to shake you out they don't want you part of that new one percent the sec has a lot on his plate right now does it have the resources to be effective gary gary says we're short-staffed it's clear the sec has plenty on its plate do you have the resources to actually be effective as a regulator, given all the challenges you're facing? Uh, we, we, we are short staffed. It might sound odd to say that at an agency with 4,400 remarkable dedicated staff working remotely during this challenging pandemic. Um, but that's four to five percent less than we had just five years ago. We've got an IPO boom. We have a SPAC boom. We have cryptocurrencies to deal with. We have the issues we talked about earlier about China issues and, and the like, and we have more. Our capital markets are a hundred plus trillion dollars. About half of that is the stock market, a little over half is the bond market. So I'd like to at least get back to where we were in 2016, and I think we should probably be five or 10% larger than that. No excuses, Mr. Burns. End the war on cryptocurrency and end the war on the XRP bag holders. Mr. Intuitive Blackberry XRP, clarity fine. But then why no action? Faster settlements equals XRP. Stable coins must be a security because you can feel secure. That's it. Backed one by one with the dollar. Gary. Are you there? Gary. What was that testimony yesterday? Saying there's 35 things fall under a security. And you know, the law is very clear. Well, I agree. The law is clear. You can't have an ICO. So the question is, why was Ethereum allowed to have an ICO, Gary? And your fastest settlements, you know that's XR pay. And one more issue I had, Gary. 
So a stable coin can be a security. Is that because when you give a dollar for one token, you have the security that it's one to one? <laughs> Gary, Mr. Burns. Shout out to Mr. Intuitive. Blackberry XRP. Reza Bashash. Yesterday's Solana blockchain was halted by validators controlled by their dev team. If tomorrow Ripple deliberately wants to stop XRPL for whatever reason, they can't do it. Other validators run by the community are capable of running the ledger smoothly. XRP, the decentralization of the XRPL, non Ripple validators, 96%, and only 4% are actual Ripple validators. Jump on the XRPL, the fastest, most secure decentralized and no middleman eating up those fees and the xrp ledger never went down before xrp crypto wolf says the xrp ledger has never gone down can't say the same for solana dj peter voss says nope xrp is the standard micah says the solana devs had to take it down the ripple devs couldn't take it down even if they wanted to now which one is actually decentralized crypto eddie when asked specifically about regulating ethereum four months before hinman's speech and no, Clayton couldn't answer that question. We were focused on a lot on Bitcoin and crypto assets, cryptocurrencies, and I think there's even definitional issues here. But you've got a whole new platform called Ethereum where they're creating you know, file sharing or extra computer time. I'm not sure what what kind of assets those fall into. Are they are they potentially regulated within your realm or if there is a trade? a trading exchange, a tokenization exchange between excess computer time. I'm not sure where we where that fits at this point. I, I, the definition of a security, I believe I, the people who wrote the 34 Act and the 33 Act, they were smart. They they did it on a principled basis. And they, they basically said, if you're giving people money in exchange for a future development of a business, with the hope of a return and whether that return comes in the form of server time or your ability to sell server time it's a security that's what ethereum did but there are been and i concur with the approach you've taken in terms of the icos and i think there's been some very bad behavior yet certain icos the sec has not stopped others they have stopped you know and are, are you going to go back and re-review the ones that that have gone forward they gave Ethereum clarity because they were getting paid out in Ethereum and part of the Ethereum Alliance at the same time stifling the American competition, XRP, Ripple, no middleman taking up the fee and most of the mining power, the hash power is controlled and centralized in China, XRP the standard. XRP case just got a whole lot stronger, short the FOMO. Nonetheless, the remarks appeared to confirm the SEC's position that older, well-established decentralized crypto assets might not all be securities. And we all know which one is more decentralized. Four mining groups control 58% of BTC. Three mining pools control 57% of Ethereum. Ripple runs only 7% of the validators on the XRP ledger. And we just seen that in this graph right here. Now it's only 4%, even more decentralized. And we also have this graph from Ripple. Control over time, Bitcoin and Ethereum centralized among a few mining pools. XRP decentralized among a diverse group of validators. Decentralization of the XRPL, XRP the one and only standard. Charles Gasparino, as I do my reporting on the Ripple's case and the SEC's gov of definition of what is a security and what isn't, I find that Gary Gensler, at least according to the past statements, is even more draconian than Jay Clayton. He suggests Ethereum is a security. Try putting that one back in the bottle. Crypto Eddie says, just crazy, isn't it? We're thrilled you're picking up this focus. Thank you very much. The SEC is so corrupt. Who knows how much Hinman and Clayton made from saying Ethereum isn't a security. After all, they now work for the Ethereum company. They were lining their pockets knowing they would leave the SEC. This is all a show to shake you out of the best digital asset ever created. How does the future look? We're locked in focus. Ripples, Brooks, and Whistle. Is if, if the use case is big and scalable and makes a difference and is solving a problem that's out there, and that's the kind of people that we want to we find and we hire at, at, at Ripple and that are, that are successful here is they want to use this technology to solve a global problem. We talk a lot about payments on this, this show and, and that's just super important for all this. 
Um, and so this is going to continue to swing and potentially swing wildly. Some of it will be driven by regulatory outcomes in some markets versus others. Uh, that'll be one impact. Um, it'll be, you know, different use cases developing. There could be exogenous factors of other markets that have an impact on the cryptocurrency markets. But I actually, you know, as someone who just has spent his entire career building businesses and building technology businesses for the last many of them, um, that's okay. Because as long as we keep focused on this notion of doing something that's making a difference to all these countries in Asia and now and globally as well from Asia and innovating here in Asia, which we do in this industry, which is exciting, by the way. This is not a made in, made in Europe or made in the U.S. exported to Asia innovation. I think some of the great innovation in digital assets, cryptocurrency, have and will uh, happen in, in Asia, which gets our teams excited. So you just got to stay with it, build fast, deal with competition, uh, provide a product that people want, uh, service it well, and get great people in the house to do it, which is why we're recruiting and uh, you know, we've got lots of open slots, so take a look at that as well. Uh, we're continuing to hire, certainly in Singapore um, and around the world. So um, let's see. But uh, we're locked in and focused, and and we, uh, we're excited for where this is headed. First, we had the Internet, and now we have the Internet of Value, Ripple XRP, move value like we move information today. James will XRP straight out of Jay Clayton's mouth. He says, if you don't like it, just leave. So I... I if people are leaving this jurisdiction because they think our model, then they, I'll, I'll start with the easy thing. If people are leaving the U.S. because they think our model for raising capital from the general public is too onerous, go. Just leave. Breaking SEC enforcement tells Fox Business that the logic of the agency's case versus Ripple is that the company's infrastructure is still being built out. So XRP, the token, which was used to finance the thing, is considered a security. Ethereum's infrastructure is totally built out and has been for years, thus is clearly a commodity. At Hester Pierce argues that all may be the case, but as the SEC gov splits hairs, crypto innovation is still being stifled. So what is needed is a safe harbor that pulls back all the enforcement action developing. Rodney says that's why it's a security. LMAO XRP is its own decentralized ledger. It was built before the creation of Ripple. Ripple's suite of products may have gone through changes, but this is separate from XRP. By the way, isn't Ethereum going through an infrastructure network changes? Ethereum is upgrading to POS, so now a security. So what about Ethereum 2.0? It scoops XRP says maybe it's time to look into the Ethereum fees and who's actually benefiting. Who's that middleman? James Rue XRP, how can Coinbase delist XRP? If the SEC Gov doesn't have clarity, how can Coinbase go public? Coinbase coin, if the SEC Gov says that they may be selling securities, doesn't make sense. Relist XRP and the war on cryptocurrency and the war on XRP. Blair Finance says due to a glitch, the burn transaction was submitted 2x, meaning 1,122 NFTs were just burned. All NFTs purchased with XRP will be sent out shortly. Only 4,494 DeLorean NFTs remain. Best of luck, Samurai. Jeremy Hogan once says, how did you get my cryptography key and know that my legal briefs equals XRP to the moon? This was supposed to be kept secret, top secret, XRP to the moon. Jason Dorello has officially joined the XRP community. He says, are you still holding your XRP? I am. He's holding that standard. NFT evening. Go Gala game. Shout out to the Gala bag holders. Gala has been listed on Poloniex. Gala wallet is now open and full trading for Gala. USDT is already enabled. Shout out to the Gala holders. We just had the Binance listing. Also, we're over on BitTrue. BitTrue, Binance. And now Poloniex. With that being said, a couple dates left here for September. We got September 20th deadline for the deposition of Brad Garland House and Chris Larson. September 28th, the Ripple Defendants opposition. And then November 12th, expert discovery deadline. XRP currently at 111. Still waiting on that next massive move for XRP. While the SEC continues to shake up more weak hands, continuing to load up. And any red day is just another opportunity to add to that generational wealth bag halfway through september we shall see what the second half of september shall bring us bag holders i am the xrp bag man the moon commander currently up here 
on the mothership mothership 589 loading up on the greatest opportunity of multiple lifetimes total to odal appreciate you stopping by tuning in smashing the likes for some more moon o'clock news i hope to catch y'all all in the next one continue holding those good vibes continue to stay extra extra bullish out there and don't forget to spread that liquid love remember to throw them shades on because sec gary gensler the fraudsters the scammers all looking for those bags and remember to keep them diamond hands on. Now we'll catch you up here on the mothership for the moon party. Peace out, Crypto Ghost family. Staring out my window I got the formula Stack them bags up and simple